Hello everyone, Mr. Science Movie here with some big news. So in the last patch of Back for Blood, Turtle Rock has officially ended support. And that means that if we can find a way to mod the game, it should stay there forever, hopefully. And so I went looking and I found a way. So we are back with Back for Blood mods and this is going to be the new method for modding your game. So I want to start off by saying this is going to take a big chunk of memory on your system. So the game itself takes up about 40 gigabytes. What we're going to need to do is extract that. So unpack all of that data. And the uncompressed data is about 80 gigabytes. So in total, you're going to need 80 gigabytes to store the uncompressed game but also you're going to need the 40 gigabytes of the original game so it's 120 total that you need free for this um, but in the end it will only take up 80. so what we're going to do is we're going to first install the game and if we go to our steam installation so this is where my steam library is and we go to gobi and content I've already extracted everything here, but what you will likely see is a folder called packs. If you go into the packs folder, you'll find all the data for the game. This is, you can see this one's like 11 gigabytes. This one's like six, four. So this is where all the data is stored. So what we're gonna wanna do first is delete all of the .sig files that you'll find adjacent to these so that the folder is only full of .pack files. Then once you have that, we're going to open up QuickBMS, which I will leave in the description, and also make sure you download the Back for Blood BMS script from the specific scripts zip file that I will also leave in the description. So we're gonna run QuickBMS four gigabyte files. That's important because some of our files are bigger than four gigabytes. So we're gonna run that. And it says select your BMS script. So we're going to select that back for blood quick BMS script. Then we want to select our input archives and note it says type star for the whole folder and subfolders. So we're going to go to our packs folder. We're going to go into the folder and type star and open that. And then where it says select output folder, we're extracting files. We're going to go to our base back for blood folder. So you should see this right here. We're going to go into that folder and then hit save. It's going to ask you a few questions. It'll, you'll type Y for yes. And then it'll say, if you have files there that you've tried this before, it might say, do you want to continue overwriting things? And for me, I'm going to say A just to show how it goes. So now it's going, it's unpacking. This is going to take quite a bit of time. Um, right now it's overwriting the files that I've already extracted there. Um, but I'm going to close this out. Yours should finish. And at the very end, you'll see the same thing that I have here, which is if we go into Gobi content, you should see the entire extracted game here. So this whole thing is about 80 gigabytes, and that's what was stored within those 40 gigabytes of packs. Now, you'll have all this data here, but you should still see your packs folder right about here in that content folder. You can delete that. You actually don't want it in this folder because if it's here, the game is gonna try to load it and freak out that it has packs with non-packs. And so we're just gonna delete that or move it out of this folder somewhere. So now we have the game unpacked. We're going to go to our Steam account and we're gonna hit Back for Blood, right click Properties. And we're gonna, under General, go to Launch Options and type dash no pack. What that does is it tells the game to launch without reading any pack files and to use the decompressed data that we just extracted. Uh, so now that we have that, we have our game fully unpacked. So we can start installing our mods. So we're going to go to, I have my Among Us med kit here. 
And you can see at the top level, I have this Gobi folder. That's the same as this Gobi folder. So I can go ahead and copy this and paste it right here. It's going to say you want to replace these files. So say yes. And let's pick some other ones just to show off. We're going to say, let's put in the diamond sword I was working on. Yeah, replace those. Let's put in, what else do we got here? Let's put in our skins pack. All right, so now that we've got all those mods, uh, and you can find all of our mods on our website, which I will also link in the description, those are actually in .pack form, but if you extract them the same way we did the game packs, then you should be able to use the resulting files and plop them right in here. So now that we're done with that, we've dragged our mods in, we're going to just go ahead and start the game. Now, because we're running it unpacked, this will take longer than usual, um, but if you store your game on an SSD, rather than an HDD, it should be reasonably quick. Um, but if it's taking a while, uh, that don't worry, that's normal. Um, when I had mine installed on my hard drive, it took me a good 10 minutes to actually launch. Um, so I would recommend putting this on a solid state if you can. Um, but otherwise, that's just startup time, so it's really okay. All right, so now we're loaded in. That took me about three minutes of loading time. Um, you'll see that even the intro is taking a bit long to start. Um, but with this, we can actually go ahead and click online. And we should be completely safe to go online. And now that we're in, we can see we are perfectly fine and let's check out our diamond sword oh yeah it's a little wonky i i never actually did finish it but but you know it is what it is um so yeah and we have our among us med kit here that we also put in and of course our beautiful dog skin so now what we're going to do is i'm going to show we can actually go online with this so we're going to just hop into quick play and join a run oh took me a long time to get here but here we are i've got my among us sussy boy and we're playing here with titan cab uh so Proof that this is online, proof that this actually works, and we can still check our skin out. Beautiful. Alright, well, I hope that that was helpful to everybody, and I really hope that this doesn't get patched. So if anybody out there at Turtle Rock is listening, close your ears, and don't patch this. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, I will see you guys next time. I'll probably be making some more mods from now on given that this does work. All right, thanks for watching.